for me, it's the trigger of something you want to memorize, be it any bit of information, shopping list, what have you, and then losing that anchor, right, um, for later so that you have to recall it. So um, that's probably my biggest thing. So, um, and it's not uncommon. I've also listened to quite a few audio books and stuff like that. And you go, oh, that's a, that's a great stat for a podcast or something along those lines. So what do you do? You quickly get out your phone and put it in your notes section or something along those lines. Um, that would probably be probably the main thing. So there's nothing sort of, I think it's pretty much stock standard in that sense. Sorry, sorry, Tanzel, not to be, you know, has some sort of very crazy, no, crazy, no, unique, this, this is, crazy, crazy, unique, unique this, thing. This, this is exactly what I was looking for. And, um, you know, the, the challenge that you got is absolutely uh, real and happens to everyone that learns memory techniques, right? Yeah. Um, so when you first learn memory techniques, um, you know, Ratana Pinta, you probably, you know, come across this, uh, you come across the knowledge, right? And there's a lot of it at the moment. So you, you learn a few things. You learn, you know, memory palace, you learn linking and so on. Then you start practicing those skills. And then you get to a certain point where you can actually remember stuff. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Uh, but what happens is that you want to put this to real life practice and it doesn't go as planned a lot of the time. So you're remembering a name and you, you can remember a name for a while. But what happens is that, that can easily be forgotten, right? Uh, and the reason why things get forget uh, forgotten is the anchor that Mark was talking about um, is, is broken because the connection is not strong enough or it hasn't been visited for a while because space repetition, uh, as you pro probably know, Mark, you're, you're a learning professional. Um, you know, you meant to go, when you memorize something or learn something, you meant to go back, say a couple of hours later, revisit it, review it, and then a day later, a week later, two weeks later, and so on. So that's the thing there. Now, when you meet people, you might meet them once, do the memory application, remember their name, but not see them for you know more than two weeks or maybe a month or six months. So you've only got that one little association, right? How often are you going to go back and review their name, right? If you're conscious of it, maybe you do it once, but that's about it. So the real strategy around that is um, that it's twofold. One is uh, review measures, uh, being conscious and aware that, okay, uh, if I am really going to remember these people's names or this bit of information and so on, I am going to make an effort. I'm going to put in my diary. I'm going to do whatever to review it in two hours time, in a week's time, in two weeks time and make that sequence there. So you pop them yep. in your calendars and you create a schedule for yourself for review. Now, remember when we remember something in real life, you're not really remembering that many things, to be honest, right? Even if you're, you know, someone that works in a field where all you're doing is memory, um, it's still not that much, right? Um, so he says, says a guy who was memorizing the yellow pages. Yeah, well, th that was just a one-off <laughs> exercise that someone gave me. So you know, it, I, I don't, I don't have a use for memory techniques. I only teach it now. So <laughs> isn't that funny? Um, so in reality, everyday life, you're not going to need memory techniques that much. But it's good to practice. So that leads on to the second um, way of doing things is memory training, right? Because if you're training your memory, what you're doing is you're taking you're anchoring, you're taking your storytelling, because that's what memory is. It's actually storytelling. You're taking that ability to the next level, right? What does that mean? That means that when you're remembering someone's name next time, when you're reading a book, when you're um, you know, solving problems, whatever it is, now it's at a higher level, right, of connection. You're now encoding a lot faster. Your processing speed is faster. Everything works better. The quality is better. So, and this is from training. So that's what I always recommend to people is, yeah, have those, you know, uh, review periods, but also train your memory as well. Um, that, that's the big thing. And there, there's several ways of training your memory. Um, I think Ratana Pinto, I mentioned to you, Memory Palace is a great way of training your memory. Um, there's also a website that I recommend as well, and it's free. It's called memoryleague.com. I'll, I'll type it in the um, chat box here memoryleague.com you can go on here and there's like um, you know numbers playing cards names and faces uh, you can get on there and start training and it's they've gamified memory training so it becomes quite fun 
right? So they give you a minute to memorize as many names as you can or a one minute to memorize as many playing cards as you can. Obviously, once you know the techniques, you can go on there uh, and start playing around uh, and really seeing some um, results. Because what, what it does is once you start the techniques and you apply them on here, then you want to get up to the next level and then the next level after that. <laughs> so um, that's one way of practicing. Another way is I'll write down another website, uh, which is on my website actually, is a bunch of downloads you can get, right? So I'll put these all in the chat box and the downloads have a even more list of words. So I've got like easy, hard and hardest words that you can practice on. Um, it's also got some spreadsheets in there and so on. So you can download some of these things and start training your memory. Uh, and the goal is to get faster right, and memorizing, but you want to build up quality as well. So hopefully, Mark, that's giving you, yeah, two options there to really boost that anchoring because us memorizers, memory experts, I guess, you know, memory athletes, our memorization has gone up several notches because what we've done is we've trained our memory to the highest level. Um, average, everyday person, yeah, you can still get it up several notches as well. You just got to practice these techniques, it's like going to the gym and exercising or going for a run, right? If you don't do that, then yeah, you may not be fit as you know what you were, what you will be if you go and exercise. So that that's really the difference there. Cool. Yeah. How's that? Sure, thank you. Mark? No, it's cool. Thank you. Awesome. That's man. useful yeah. for me too. Yeah, thanks for those sharing those links. 